What's going on, my beautiful people? Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ox Garfit, and I share vegan recipes, vegan restaurant reviews, and also vegan fitness videos. If that's something that interests you guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a quick tempeh scramble recipe, more protein than eggs, and also healthier than eggs. So stay tuned, and let's get in the kitchen. So for this tempeh scramble, you guys are going to need some tempeh, of course. And then I got some spices right here, turmeric, black pepper, a little bit of pink sea salt, and paprika, and garlic. And what you wanna do is, you wanna start crumbling the tempeh into this bowl, and then we're gonna put the spices in there. All right, we'll add the spices, get a spoon and just mix it all up. So I'm heating up the pan to a medium heat and then I'm just gonna add a tiny little drop of avocado oil. Let the pan heat up for about three to four minutes and then you can go ahead and add the tempeh. So when you cook with turmeric, make sure that you also use black pepper. There's a compound in the black pepper that makes the absorption of the turmeric much better in our body. And turmeric is very healthy, so you want to maximize the absorption of it. So the tempeh only needs about three to four minutes on medium heat, and then it's pretty much ready. I'm going to go ahead and add a whole bunch of kale. And then we'll cook this down for another two minutes just until the kale gets a little more wilted. And then we are ready to serve it up. And that is our tempeh scramble. I'm gonna add a little bit of dulse flakes, which also provides some iodine. It is a seaweed vegetable. And it does taste fishy if you have it alone, but I find that if I mix it with things, I don't even taste it at all, so I like it. I'm also going to add a little bit of nutritional yeast. Or maybe a lot. So it's not the prettiest, but guys, it is healthy. A lot of protein from the tempeh, a little bit of protein from the kale, but also vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin C, and some calcium in there as well. We got all the healthy spices in there also, and just some nutritional yeast, which adds a little bit of extra vitamins and minerals, and the nutritional yeast is not fortified. I don't know why, I don't like the fortified ones, so it's completely unfortified, but it still has a ton of minerals in it. If you guys dig back on my old videos, you can see that I've shown you exactly which one it is. It's the Sari Foods, S-A-R-I. I'll put a little picture of it so you guys can see it. And I should probably stop mixing this, because what am I even doing at this point, right? Then I got two slices of Ezekiel bread. I love the Ezekiel bread just because of the ingredients in there. Very minimally processed ingredients and it also tastes good, especially when you mix it with something like this. So let's chow down. I'm gonna add some of this buffalo sauce that I used in my recipe earlier. The buffalo chicken slider recipe. It's really spicy, so I'm not gonna use a lot. And let's go ahead and just start adding the tempeh on there. Make little, little sandwiches here. And voila, that is the finished product. I've had this dish multiple times, so I can confidently tell you guys that it is delicious. I definitely recommend making it. And if you guys do make it, make sure to tag me on my Instagram and I will repost it. All right guys, let's feast. Oh yeah, really good. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. Like I always say, what kind of recipes do you guys want to see? I would be happy to know and I would be happy to make them. So let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. The deuce.